Good evening, my dear friends. Uh, here is again Karuna talking on the subject of Arme Armenian duduk. In this short video, I will I will speak on how to take care of your instrument. So, first thing I would mention is that you need some kind of case for it. So you can you can make it by yourself or you can ask a tailor to make it. Just find a piece of nice uh, nice soft cloth, maybe thick, uh, so to protect the instrument better, and uh, make something simple like this. So it's a kind of soft pocket for one duduk or two duduks. So if I go outside into the park to play, sit on the bench, I just put it into my bag and go like this. So it's very simple and very cheap. It's one of the solutions. Yeah, just just have a nice nice thing like that. So another one uh, which is more difficult, which is more like uh, also expensive. Uh, this one I ordered in Yerevan, in Armenia. I asked the tailor uh, to make it for me um, exactly like this, and he made it. Uh, so it is uh, the case is for three duduks. Right now I have two duduks in A. A size and one in B flat, but it's enough to have uh, to put inside the length of the key of G, so it could be like like that. The G is so long, like that, and uh, it's also enough to put uh, three reeds inside of it, so the reed feels very nice here. It has also some holes from from here on the on the bottom of every of every little pocket for the for the reed, so the reed can breathe. And also every duduk can also breathe because it has some little holes here. And basically this uh, this case is is half soft. It's not as so much stuff. It's kind of half soft, and it's not heavy, uh, which is good. And it is aired enough to keep your instruments dry. Uh, but still, never never uh, put uh, your duduk immediately after playing inside of the case like this because it will not dry up. Uh, especially you must be aware of the climate where you live in um, so if it is cold and there is, an, there is uh, much moisture in the air so you need, to, you need to keep your instrument after playing for some time maybe for 10-15 minutes outside somewhere in the room temperature the best temperature for the duke is the room temperature and the open space for it is very good so you give it some time uh, to dry up and then you only put into the case yeah, like that. So another thing I must mention about about taking care of your apricot uh, uh, duduk is uh, to have some to have some oil. There are some types of uh, some sorts of oil which are suitable for uh, for polishing your duduk. You can polish your duduk after after almost every playing or even after every playing. Which is which is good because instrument uh, wood likes oil very much and it becomes very shiny and becomes kind of more dense. Uh, the quality of the wood becomes by time it becomes better if you if you take care like this. Uh, for uh, putting oil onto the duduk, you, you also can take some soft material, some soft cloth. It can be also uh, soft leather, or uh, I don't know exactly the name of that uh, sort of leather i think it's sha shami shami or something like that uh, the very much soft um, soft kind of leather or you just uh, take uh, the back back side of a normal leather and you put a couple of drops uh, of oil onto it and then you polish it like this after playing and uh, doing this can also remove some little scratches uh, so which are seen without oil and with oil they are not seen anymore some little damages which occur uh, while playing again and again you play and play and of course uh, some little things start coming up so you can remove them by by doing this polishing so and before taking pictures of your instrument always do this polishing of course because the uh, the view of it becomes so nice um, so it's also important to do uh, because you your fingers they have they, they they are sweating when you play so in this uh, particles of sweat this moisture of your fingers also start to remove uh, to remove the color of your duduk and so to keep the color you also need to oil it it's one of the reasons you need to oil it
because you will see after some time if you if you don't do it uh, you just see you start seeing little circles here around the holes uh, because they lose color so do this yeah what kind of oil uh, I think the best one is walnut walnut oil if you don't have walnuts it's it's um, quite expensive I would say you can just take a, a a walnut itself you can crack it you can take the you can take the nut out of it and you put the nut into some piece of cloth and then you smash it and then this piece of cloth becomes oily and you can you can do it you can you can do oiling with this piece of cloth just having the walnut you don't need the oil itself uh, also a good one is uh, um, how is it called I don't know uh, almond almond oil or even apricot seeds oil another one this one is very cheap I bought it in Armenian pharmacy and it cost nothing at all and this is exactly the oil uh, the maker of my duduk uh, whose name is Karen Nukalyan the MKS stamp uh, who who uses it for making this um, oiling so this is linen linen oil I think it's the right pronunciation linen uh, it has some smell if you cook on it uh, it is a f like a fish smell it's not very uh, <laughs> nice smell but when you when you do oiling of your duduk after some um, after a minute you don't you don't smell it anymore it just smells like oil but not a uh, linen oil so linen is good it's very cheap also uh, now we will speak about uh, how to take uh, care of your reeds yeah it's a bigger topic uh, for my reeds I have uh, according to Armenian duduk players tradition I bought on a flea market this kind of it's a very old thing uh, case for uh, for glasses and I took a nail and I made a lot of holes on every side of this uh, case so that, that the uh, reed which is inside or even two reeds they can they can comfortably sit inside and breathe uh, after playing, even even using this kind of case with holes, uh, I don't put immediately the reed inside of this. So I wait for five ten minutes and then only I put it inside of the of the case. Uh, this case, just having two reeds, is enough to to have it with you in your bag, going outside playing. So if you don't if you don't uh, perform on the stage where you need some keys of different duduks and so uh, more more reads uh, this two two reads one two reads case is enough if you need more you just take some food container you again you you uh, you make holes and then you can put m many more reads inside so please take care of your reads because they are very sensitive beings so and they have memory they can they can they can really they can uh, memorize how you played them before so if you don't know how to educate your read how to be sensitive towards it how to feel when it is tired um, then your read will uh, will not live a long life you know you have to learn how to how to make its life longer so when you don't play even for five minutes you make this adjustment ring loose never make it uh, keep it tense uh, like that in the playing position always make it loose it's like a uh, professional guitar player al always lose the strings on the guitar and before concert they tune 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 them again they make them again tense so the same you have to do with the with the reed and also put the cap if you don't play just put the cap onto onto the lips so that you cannot see the light if you look through uh, it must be straight it must not be like that straight this is important one thing this another thing this and also uh, don't overcome the limits of your read so if you feel like the, you are at the limit where it starts uh, making a scratchy sound buzzing sound uh, you don't you don't go uh, more than this otherwise your duduk will uh, your read will memorize it and it will be more and more 
uh, scratchy, you know, the sound will not be any more like, like Armenian duduk sound, it will be more like Turkish, Azerbaijan, but not Armenian soft sound. So, so keep it dry uh, and fi find a nice uh, good case for it. I think it can, it can be enough for now. If something more comes to my mind, I will, I will uh, tell about this in the next videos. It was Karuna, enjoy playing Duduk, see you again, bye.